Dr. Boucher, the only choice that most Americans have right now is between Pfizer and Moderna. Well, today, FDA advisors met to review an emergency use application from Novavax. How is that vaccine different from the ones that are already out there? Well, Ben, this vaccine is made, uh, it's called a protein subunit vaccine. It's similar to the flu vaccine or hepatitis B. It takes a protein from the outside of the virus and puts it in a nanoparticle. So this is a more conventional type of vaccine. It's safe for immunocompromised people. It's not live. And it may be more acceptable to some people who haven't yet accepted vaccination. Hmm. So what can you tell us about dosing, efficacy? So it's dosed, uh, two doses, three weeks apart. So similar to the other vaccines, the efficacy, as you all mentioned, is very good, above 90%. And nobody in the trial got severe or um, moderate COVID. So it looks very similar in efficacy to what we saw uh, with the other vaccines that we have available. Well, as you well know, Dr. Boucher, the Novavax vaccines already been authorized in a lot of other countries, including uh, the European Union, the UK and Canada. So what took so long here and are there any safety concerns? You know, the reasons it took longer here are somewhat complicated to have a little bit to do with manufacturing and, and the strategy the company took in starting outside the U.S. Um, in terms of safety, there have been reports of myocarditis, that heart inflammation that we've seen with other vaccines. And whether that's real, it's a higher uh, incidence, or whether it's a reflection of the larger number of patients they've studied so far, we don't know yet. And then a couple of unusual things were um, uncovered today. One was gallbladder inflammation. Uh, and another was pneumonia, which is, doesn't really make a lot of sense. So we'll have to stay tuned for more uh, evidence of the safety signals potentially. Hmm. Well, finally, more than 76% of American adults are already fully vaccinated. We've got a big supply of doses for those who aren't. Do you still think there's really a need for another vaccine like this? Yeah, this is really important. So it is good that so many are vaccinated, but still at least 27 million Americans have received no vaccine. And so if this vaccine is more acceptable, that's great. And if we can help people who haven't yet chosen to be vaccinated, uh, make the choice to get vaccinated, that is so important for them and for all of us, for our health, not only now, but as we go into the next winter season. Okay, Dr. Helen Boucher from Tufts, thanks as always for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you.